Hey guys, what's up? It's Kinsey and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, we're gonna be doing a, I'm like forgetting what we're doing. We're gonna be doing a personal q and I asked you guys for some questions on my Instagram of maybe things that I haven't answered, um, like things you want me to talk about more, whatever. So I'm gonna be answering your questions because you guys asked them. So if anyone's mad, it's not on me. If you guys are new here, I would love if you guys could subscribe. Normally I do like lifestyle videos. So we're gonna get started. I can get my DMs to open. <laughs> First question I have is who is your biggest influence? I actually had this conversation with Joe just yesterday. I freaking love Casey Musgraves and Dua Lipa. Casey Musgraves is an angel. She is a country music artist, but if you don't like country music, that is fine, you will still like her. She's a country artist that like anyone can listen to and I freaking love her. She's from Texas, she loves being from Texas. She's just like really raw and sings about like very real things and things that I just really connect with. She's very genuine, very, you know, like blunt, like she's just like, this is who I am and that's that. I really respect that. I could talk about her forever. Like her new music is coming out this week, her new album, which I'm so excited for. Joe and I want to do a shoot that's like inspired by that. Literally, she's just so cool. If you guys have ever seen the neon cactus that we have in our living room, it's Joe's. He got that made because we were inspired from her tour that we went to and she had neon cacti, which was amazing. And so he wanted to get one made. And then he happened to just get it made by the exact same person, which he didn't even realize. It was just like crazy coincidence. But yeah, we freaking love her. I just like, she's just so like, this is who I am. I'm a normal, really cool, Cool girl from Texas and just yeah I freaking love her Dua Lipa is just awesome so talented and just like a boss like she's very powerful and I think people are attracted to her because of that I don't know love them too next question what are your thoughts on gun control slash the March for our lives movement okay people are gonna get so angry in the comments I can already tell you um, I'm all for it I think it's awesome I love that young people are doing so many things and I think that there needs to be a change. So, yeah. Yeah, I think it's unreal. Like, the march was so cool. Like, I, I'm in full support. I just drank coffee, so I feel like I'm talking really fast. I need to chill out. How do you stop thinking you need a guy in your life? I feel like I answer this for someone in my life every single day. Like, you really just don't need one. Let's get cozy while we're at it. I don't know, I just think like guys are not bad, but you also just like don't need a guy. And guys are also a lot, so like if you don't have one in your life, it's kind of like, oh, it's nice, I can like chill, you know? Yeah, I don't know. I'm just like really, really content with like my friends and my life and everything right now to the point where like I really don't want a boy to come in my life because I feel like that would just ruin it. <laughs> so, that's where I'm at. How do you feel you've changed recently or something that you've learned recently? So, Something that I've learned recently, I don't know if this answers your question, but this is just a thought that I've been having. I feel like people have two ideas of me. They either think I like am more like pretentious or stuck up, or they think I'm like really, really down to earth. There's like really no between. And I like really like being a normal girl from Texas and like being normal and I don't like, like I, pretentious people are like not my vibe. It's not my thing. Um, I love being normal and a girl from Texas who likes normal things and going to Sonic and hanging out with my friends and like just living such a normal, fun, chill life. I like the simple things, I guess is what I'm getting at. Um, yeah, I like nice things. Obviously, like it's like do cool things too, and I love all that. But like I, the the older I get and the more I learn about myself, the more I realize how much I value normal people. Or just people who are not entitled or very like self-righteous and stuff. I like it when it's just like chill, this is who I am, um, really low maintenance, that kind of thing. Um, yeah, so I feel like people like kind of have the wrong idea sometimes, but like whatever. Does that answer the question at all? I don't know. I made a list on my phone. I'm starting a list on my phone of just like things that I love, like random small things. I'll read some of them to you guys just for fun. Oh, it's my favorite things. How small the world is. Guys, I can't even tell you the amount of times someone will walk through our door in my, like, the house and, like, have some sort of connection to either my hometown, Joe's hometown. Half of anyone that we talk to or meet is from Texas. It's so weird. Know someone that we know. Like, the world is so small. It is so small and it is crazy. Moving on. Um, 
Some coffee disposables, I love disposables. When you talk to someone without speaking, like when you can just like look at them and you know. Doing simple things with people you love, like literally like anything, like walking somewhere or like going to CVS, like small things like that, like that stuff I love. I don't know why. Running into friends and around your neighborhood, like at your local coffee shop, having a usual, whatever. Love those things. So you can tell, very, very simple. That's just my vibe, you know? I really like that stuff. Okay, so this one, I don't really know how to transition in or out of this. So it might, I don't want this to come off as insensitive or weird, just for like, if it feels weird. Because this one's gonna be like a little bit more deep or deeper. Kenzie asked, nice name. Um, this one is personal and I'm not sure if you want to answer, but how are you coping with the loss of your cousin? I recently lost my mom last I recently lost my mom from cancer and it never gets easier, but hearing how other people try and cope is sometimes painful to or helpful to hear. Okay, I am so, so sorry. Like I just ugh, I I can't even imagine. Like I'm so sorry. Um Yeah, I like I don't even know what to say, but with me, if you guys don't know, I lost my cousin last June, so we're coming up on a year. Um, it still feels really weird, and it's just like, I don't know, I don't think I've dealt with it very well, to be honest with you. I don't think I've really dealt with it much. Like, obviously I've had my very low points and stuff, but I don't really talk about it. Um, I live really far away, so like, I am able to kind of just like, act like it didn't happen, you know? Um, yeah, I don't know. I think that's something I'm gonna be dealing with for like a lot longer. I don't think that's never really something that you get over. Um, yeah, like, I don't know. It's just, ugh. I definitely do want to like make something about it. I have ideas and stuff. It's just like, again, I know that I have to like deal with more things that I like don't really want to or don't know if I'm ready for, but also I feel like I'm never gonna be ready for anything. Um, yeah, it's literally, it's the worst thing ever, but like loss is so hard and so many people have to go through it sadly but also at the end of the day like we have each other and yeah i'm so i'm just so sorry okay um moving on to the next question how did you know that moving out was right for you at a young age and how did you manage it all i moved out a few months before i turned 18 my senior year of high school i was graduating pretty much early without even meaning to i was so ahead of my credits and Honestly, so much of it had to do with my home life at that point. I have like the best family and the best home ever But like there was just things that had like gone on and everything that I like needed to get away from So so much more of it was my personal life than people I think realize especially in my hometown I just knew like I needed to get out and I'm glad that I did um, But I wouldn't recommend it for people. I would not recommend moving out early my first year and a half I was like a mess. I'm really glad that I did it I learned a lot and I'm like back where I am now because of a lot of that I just like knew I don't I don't know I just knew like it was really hard about managing it I was a mess like not a mess and like oh I couldn't handle it I was just like kind of crazy like I was like going out a lot um, but I was also like working way too hard like I just had like really unhealthy work habits I've talked about this a billion times on my channel so I'm not even gonna get into it but uh, I think also I was kind of figuring out myself and like what I wanted, what I didn't want. It's super normal, especially when you move out. Like it's so, so normal to go through that. I'm glad that I'm not in that anymore. I would recommend like living your senior year out if you can. You and Drew, are y'all still friends? I feel like you guys faded. Big supporter. Hi Kenzie, I was wondering if you and Drew are still friends. Whoa, whoa. Okay, there's a lot of questions about Andrew. Um, Drew and I are still friends. People ask me this a lot actually. Um, I don't have anything else to say other than like we live very different lives like when we were together all the time We lived like a mile from each other and I wasn't in a physical school. I was in online school So I had like a way more free schedule and now we just like live far apart and we kind of like live really different lives now So that's that we never dated uh, What else are the people gonna ask? Yeah, there's nothing bad like he was like a really really great friend of my life and like still is it's just that like we live far away from each other now and we like do different things and we both are just really busy but i still see him like he was literally here like a few days ago so yeah something else that i want to say while i'm on this is that i've kind of recently realized how much i value life off camera which I, that sounds pretentious and i really hate even saying that because like it's not like me recording my life is like a huge deal to like you guys but like for me 
it's like I don't know what is just between me and someone or what is like on camera and just random things I don't know I don't know I randomly like I delete my social apps a lot now and I'm like off completely I have them logged in on Joe's so I'm posting but you guys just don't know that I'm not on social media right then because like it is my job and it is something that I like freaking love doing like I think social media is the best thing ever but I think that breaks from social media are also the best thing ever and yeah, so when it comes to like a lot of my personal ones, like I don't film majority of the time when I'm with my friends. The only person I really do film with is Joe, it's because I live with him. But yeah, like my point is that like you guys don't see this because I'm not really filming my personal life as much anymore. I just like living my life in like really simple ways and just hanging out with my friends and literally walking and getting coffee and hanging out at my house. Like that is what I like to do. Um, and yeah, so that's another reason why people think that. I think, what do you want the most out of life? I think, ah, this is like a pretty loaded question. Um, for me, like I was saying, like life is really just all about like loving people. I think I definitely have like a very, very big heart for very broken people. Um, so I think it's just, and I also like think so much of life is about being like raw and authentic and true to yourself. And literally it's all about the relationships that you have. So. That is what I want the most out of life, is great, meaningful relationships with people. That is it. I know that I'm so cheesy. I already know. You don't have to tell me. It's fine. I really don't want to talk about like my faith a hundred billion times a second, but that is literally all you guys are asking me for. So I will answer one question. Also, if you don't believe what I believe, that is like so fine. Like literally so fine. You can apply this to anything in your life, what I'm about to say, because I feel like this can be applied into a billion different things. Like sadly, there's like a huge, really negative connotation with church a lot of the time. There's church hurts just like there's any other hurts, like work hurt, friend hurt, whatever. Certain things just suck sometimes and that's that. I've been through the worst of it. I've also been through the best of it. I get it. I totally understand. If it's not your thing, that's fine. I encourage you to find something that is your thing. It could be the same thing, just a different version of it. That's what I'm getting at here. So if you guys have seen like my story video, I talk more in depth about this, but um, I left the church for a very long time and then I came back and wow, this is really just being very open with you guys. Um, I feel like weird talking about this on camera. Anyways, I was super lost when I moved to LA. I was so, like, I was just a mess. Like, I don't even know who I was. I had a rough experience with my church at home. I'll say it. I think church is amazing and I think that the basis of it and what it should be and what it is a lot of the times is beautiful. And I think that it can be bad because it's people who are broken and imperfect. Totally get that, you know? Um, I had a bad experience. Doesn't mean that that place is horrible, just like I had a bad experience. And I was very hurt by it. I left forever, finally came back. I decided to go to Hillsong um, in LA, it changed my life. I was like, okay, I gotta unlearn everything that I was taught and relearn everything. But I'm so glad that I did it. And I don't know, I think it kind of took me like being pushed to like the very rock bottom that like I chose to go back. And like, I remember so specifically like being in that service and just being like, Okay, but with that being said, not to get too churchy on you guys, not the point of the story, uh, but just because something has been bad for you before doesn't mean it's always gonna be bad for you, and I think that don't let like one bad apple ruin everything for you with whatever that is. So like, if let's say like you've been hurt by people, like it doesn't mean that everyone is bad, or you've been hurt by, you know, like, having really big goals in your life, it doesn't mean that every goal that you have you can't achieve. Just things like that, like don't let one small thing ruin everything because like I literally would not even, I have no idea who I would be or where I would be had I not like given it another chance. So I think kind of just giving it a chance and also understanding that people are all broken and imperfect and messed up and you just gotta love them the best that you can and figure out what's gonna work. Okay, so this is like really loaded, but um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I talked a lot. Yeah, if you guys don't want me to talk about these things, let me know. But like, it is a personal Q&A and this is what everyone asked me. So I just was like, that's just the answers that I have for you. I love you guys. I literally don't care what you believe. I don't care about anything. I just love you guys for who you are, exactly where you are. You don't have to act a certain way, be a certain way, look a certain way. I literally don't care. Okay, I love you guys so much. Thank you for sticking around. You guys are freaking amazing and Okay, my, I'm running out of battery and storage. Love you guys so much, and I'll see you soon.